Hi, this is a video that I wanted to make because if you're like me and you've been on the field before, you probably had to change your IP address. Um, a lot of times between different static IPs or back and forth between the HCP and static. So um, once I learned how to do that on PowerShell, then I was able to make some scripts where I could automate that in like a one line command or something like that. So, so the first thing I wanted to show is this. So that's the only network adapter that I have here, this VM, so that's why. So this be similar to doing um, and CPA, that's CPL, and then come in here. So as you can see, Ethernet 2 matches that entry, and then network 11. Um, okay, I don't see that, but still. That's Ethernet too, so it should be good enough. Um, and if we come in here, go to properties, standard operating procedure, we see that it's uh, actually set to the HCP right now. So let's see what happens if we do get net IP address. index is three and then format table just so that things come out nice and neat all right so this is the one we want to change so we'll do um, So which IP address? All of them. And yep. All right. So now, what do we have? Just a, a peep IP address now on that index. So now uh, we can also do get net route. Same interface. And what this will show us, uh, here it is. So that would be the default gateway. Um, we want to get rid of that as well. Because we'll be setting that ourselves. because we can see what it is. Um, I'm just gonna say next hop, and we're gonna provide the next hop IP, uh, what just happened. We're gonna provide that IP address. If we didn't know the default gateway, we could also do this instead. Say that we didn't know, this is the default gateway, and this was actually the script you want to write eventually. You can always go and do this, which in that case is going to be destination prefix. Yeah, always good. Just to all. All right. So now. Let's say that we want to set this IP address to um, 
new net IP address. Still interface index three, because I remember that. And let's say that we want to do an IP address of ten that then that zero that two with our slash twenty. Let's go with the slash twenty two. And this should help oh, default gateway. Here we go. Okay. So we added that now. So if we um were to go back and check. There it is, our slash 22, our new default gateway, and the IP address we, we provided.